everybody. What the fuck? What's up? Bird jumps off cliff after birth. So the moment they hatch, the mother and the father go to the bottom of this like 500 foot cliff, and the birds jump. Jesus. And, and they hit them. They they hit rocks all the way down, and whoever survives survives with the parents. Oh my god, dude, it's fucking amazing. Look wow, at this. Wow, this is insane. They don't even have wings yet. Nope, nothing, nothing. Just fucking bold. Oh my god, this is insane. This is insane. So this poor little thing is. It's kind of like a flying squirrel looking situation. This is insane. Dude, the first time I watched this, I was so baked. I was like, is this a loop? Because it looks like it's never going to end. It's so far. I think he says it 500 or 600 feet or something. It's like so that. insane that this is how life gets born. Oh, oh, my God. And he hits the rocks, and you've got to assume he's dead. Nope. Oh my god, he's gonna hit more rocks. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So many fucking rocks. Look at this thing, it's flipping head over heels. It hits more rocks. Oh, hit a little grass there. Got a, caught a break. <laughs> caught a break. <laughs> caught a break. For, that's a good oh, break. break. Look at this thing, it's going down the side of the cliff. Look at there's mom and dad. And mom's like, is this motherfucker gonna make it? Look at there's another one behind it. No. Look at this, boom. How's he doing? So then fucking they, insane. They stop and wait to see which ones live. Which ones live. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nature is so harsh. Did I knew you would love this because I thought about you the first time I saw this and I was like, this is so fucking proof about surviving, dude. It's so survival. This this is the most basic. You have to leap and almost die the, the moment you enter the world. That chick is tough as fuck. Survival, that chick could dude. go five rounds of Giorgio Petrosian and just <laughs> shake it off. I was in uh, Costa Rica and we went to this place that had a, uh, it had some sort of uh, sanctuary for them. The hummingbird sanctuary. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Yeah, Did you see it? I went down to Costa Rica just last year. So they have, you know, you can, they have these feeders. So you just hang out by them yeah. and take slow mo on your iPhone and you see the thing floating around your head. There it is right there. I mean, they could just hover. It's so, cr like, how did they evolve like this? It's so strange. Like, no other bird makes that, <laughs> that weird sound when it goes by you. Huh. <laughs> it's like they have little wings, but they move stupid fast. How many, how many, how many per minute? Because it say, like, how many, uh, I know their heartbeat is insane. Their heartbeat is, like, they're 100 times ours or something like that. They're so cute. They don't seem like killers at all. No. Right? They're just out there eating pollen and shit, right? Look they're at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's incredible. Look at that nose. <laughs> they have the craziest beaks, too. Like, if that was a giant bird, you'd be like, what the fuck? That'd be sick. Did you see what that just said? Extra set of eyelids. Yeah, they have an extra set of eyelids, and they can see ultraviolet. Whoa. That's fucking amazing. Whoa. That beak is crazy. Oh, yeah. There they are. And you know, so beautiful. eventually it's going to catch you sick and shivering, and it's just going to start eating your asshole they first. these things. Yeah, they, they just bite them in the legs and shit. You gotta be careful they don't get they stomped. Sm he smells with his with his tongue. Jesus. They use the tongue to smell. What a creepy fucking creature. A giant. Yeah, so these 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 buffalo, they're not natural to the Look area. At that. Look at they've that been added thing. in. They don't know them. what the fuck this Oh, they've been added in to feed them. Yeah. Oh so my they, they're god. They're growing shit, but then they, they they die. So they go to the watering hole and the they know that they're gonna go to the watering hole. They can wait for him. And so he jacked him in the leg and then he's slowly making his way towards him. Imagine it was you, and you would see that thing walking up the bank towards you. Some guy got you'd killed. Be like, you'd they be like, no, boy. I'm a person. You're not supposed to eat me. I can think, and I can reason, and I'm progressive, uh -huh. and I have health insurance. I mean, no joke, it's dangerous, man. I mean, you saw one of the most accomplished mountaineers, the, probably the best mountaineer in the world, just died, you know, under two months ago. Really? Ule Steck, yeah. He's, How did he die? He fell. He was over on a mountain called Nupse, which was beside Everest, and, and he fell. Who knows why? Maybe he slipped but or he got hit or something. You have to see this guy. This guy, you can see the videos online. Yuri Stack is this guy, no ropes, no nothing. He's got two ice axes, and he runs up the hill faster than you can run on pavement. For sure. Yeah. Really? We call him the, oh, Swiss, the Swiss machine. Unbelievable. There's a video of him doing this? Oh, oh, hundreds of them. Lots of them. Look at this fucking guy. He's going to go do that and then come around, summit Everest, and then go down. Check that out. Dude, he's like a fucking goat. Look at this. Look at that. That's incredible. So his aerobic, you know, he's got that ability to kick out the lactic acid. Oh, my God. That yeah. is insane. I mean, he's an absolute beast. It's a shame. It was a big loss. Is yeah. it just because he's been doing it for so long? Well, that. I mean, it's like Holy any other crap. Holy shit. No ropes. 
Oh, my God. And so he's a Swiss dude, and he grew up, oh, sort of cut his teeth in the Alps. and just all this. Now, now I want to be clear, though. No ropes. This, is the, this isn't like the first time he did this, right? This is probably the 50th time he climbed that route. He did it over and over and over, got it dialed, figured it out, and then went out and did these speed records. This mushroom is growing out of the back of this ant's head. Like, this ant has been killed by this fungus, and it's now manifesting itself in this growing form that's not really a plant. That's another thing that people misconstrue right. about fungus. It's actually closer to an animal than it is to vegetation. They, they breathe oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. So this is some fucking freaky-ass alien life form that's oh, growing man. out of this ant's head. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge. That's so gnarly. Kills the ant. <laughs> And it grows mushrooms out of it, and then the spores blow up, and oh my oh, that's god, that's a cool one. That's so bizarre. Look, it's popping through its exoskeleton, and that's a real fucking fish. Oh yeah, this that thing cool. was alive in that form before the dinosaurs. Yeah. Ghost shark. How crazy is that? When you could find something alive today that was absolutely alive 65 plus million years ago, what a what an amazing time we live in where you can get a glimpse of that and sort of use your shitty little monkey brain to try to figure out, like, how many different forms of life are there? Like, how, how, how long has this thing been going on? Where is it going to? You hear that whale talking? Yeah, this is uh, what they absolutely think that they looked like, the Neanderthals looked like. But there was a guy who had some crazy alternative theory. That was probably horseshit that I want to focus on. <laughs> it's, it's probably totally fake. Oh, yeah. Neanderthal profile was super predator. So in this video, when you're looking at Neanderthal, he's got, like, black gorilla-looking skin with these big crazy eyes, and it's a terrifying-looking beast as opposed to the way we always project him. Huh? And, he, he, and he bases it on, like, the shape of their head and, like, what, what a gorilla's head Had looks like. a longer like. jaw. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy, like, because we don't know what their soft tissue looks like. But if you give them a gorilla nose instead of a human nose, they look way fucking scarier. Uh huh. And his argument was, like, we have no idea what their nose looks like. Why are we giving them a human nose? I wonder if that flies. I wonder if anthropologists are getting angry right now. Look at this. This and is in Russia? This, I don't know where this one is, but they do, they do these all over the place. I think this is Dubai. This guy is on the fucking edge of a crazy skyscraper. Like, what is that, a hundred stories high? Oh, Holy fuck. shit. And he's doing a handstand. Oh! oh! And he came down backwards. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, that was terrifying. I just what do you, hurt my elbow. What do you do after that? What, <laughs> I, what just, do you... I just hurt my elbow <laughs> reacting to that. I, I whacked my phone. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, fuck. Look at this guy. He's got a helmet on. And, and his underwear. And he's walking on a bar. Oh, my God. That is so crazy. These kids are fucking nuts, man. Yeah. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. This guy's doing a balance beam over a, it looks like a, a harbor. I don't know how far down it is, but he's way the fuck up on some crazy. It's an oil type. rig, it looks like. <gasps> oh my god, this guy's going to buy some. There's a kid here. Oh, shit. Jumping off and stuff. Oh, so, 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 shut this off. I can't do this anymore. <laughs>